Good one. First song. Thank you. My name is Stephanie Saavedra. I am Otomi, Pueblo, and Salaki. And this is Saginaw Grant. He's from the Sac and Fox tribes. And this evening we're going to be talking about um, various aspects of culture and traditions. And even after I mean, Native Americans didn't become citizens until 1924 or 1940. So we didn't even have rights. We didn't even, we weren't counted. We were just treated. Yeah, that's, that's uh, and they say they talk about immigration. You know, we could have killed Columbus. Our people could have killed Columbus and all the other people that came over here. I mean, they weren't just in boats. And we're thousands of us here then. But again, that goes back to our teaching. You help someone. You always help someone, regardless of who they are. Our people help them when they, the winter that they spent here, the first winter that they spent here. They brought them wood, they helped them, told them how to hunt. We shared our food, so yeah. the seeds, so then they can grow their own. And, and, they, and today they, they look down on, on our people sometimes, especially in, in Arizona. That Caucasian woman, governor there, she has no right to be here. Just like this shirt that I have on. It's just uh, says, I'm not illegal, illegal, I'm native. Yeah, and on the back. On the back it says, illegal immigration began in 1492. Yeah, and that's true. It really is. And they say, well, why didn't, why didn't you do something? We could have killed them people all. They, they, all people, if they were that, they call us savages. If we were that savage, we would have killed them and not let them come ashore. Exactly. They, they don't think. They don't stop and think. As long as they got money, that, that's where their power is. Do you think that, because some of the, especially with history, was taught in schools, do you think that educating these people might help them to have some type of an awakening? Yes, I know it would, if they would teach their children. But they don't, they don't teach their children anything, how to live life, what to do in life, what to do in situations. I learned a lot of things by stories they told me about animals, different animals. Mm -hmm. A lot of our, our, our lessons come from stories like that. But we were failing to do that today. I'm involved with a movie that we're going to make that will try to bring back our traditions and our philosophy of how to live life. There will be situations in it that pertain to these things that we were taught or should have been taught, even today. So our elders don't take the time to talk and teach their children anything anymore. And that's sad. And that's one thing I feel that I've, I've neglected to do, was to reach out more. But I, I have a lot of young friends who, who I talk to and tell stories to. Jake Forrest is the little guy that's always dancing with me. He's <laughs> always out there. Him and him and uh, the, the little boy that, that's always coming out there. Well, several of them. One even has he wears wears wraps on his on his, on his hair. You know, that's uh, I try to live a traditional way. I don't uh, I don't do a lot of things that the people that I work with do, and I'm satisfied. I don't have to, I don't have to have all the things that they have because I, I believe that I can share it with other people, like the homeless, for instance, give them money. I mean, I, give them money, but also teach them a lesson by talking to them and letting them know why I'm doing it and not be just to it makes me feel good when I do these things. Right. There's so many things that, simple things, like I said, I say, good morning, Grandpa's son. As something, it just makes me, it seems silly, but you do that. You do that and you'll feel good. 
it's not so. Wake up in the morning. Have a good feeling. Have good thoughts. Have positive thoughts. Mm -hmm. When you start your day, that isn't hard. You can think of something that that happened to you the day before. Something good. Don't remember the bad things that happened. And always look for the little miracles that the Creator gives That's you each right. and every day. That's right. And be grateful. That's the first word you say. That's the first words out of the mouth of anybody, any Indian, any native, when he's praying. Is thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Creator, for that. And giving me another day. For letting me have something to eat. For letting me have water to drink. Thank you. We don't say, give me, give me, give me. That's the way you know, a Caucasian, give me, give me. He's always wanting something. Yeah. And, and they go to great lengths to get it. It's interesting, but one of the things that I hear from my sons as well, because they're little, they're seven and four, is um, I can't, I can't. I says, you know what, boys? You can't use that word. In none of our languages was there ever, I can't. There's, mm -hmm. So you gotta keep trying over and over again, and try it different ways, and you'll succeed if you're. If it's in a good way and it's from your heart. You know things will work out. I don't use the word worry or problem. Mm -hmm. Those are negative words. Mm -hmm. Are those two words aren't in any of our languages? Not in any Indian language. Worry or problem. You know, I don't have sugar diabetes. I'm, I'm not overweight because I take care of my body. I walk every day. I get some kind of exercise. I don't just get on the couch and, mm -hmm. and watch some sick. My wife gives me to watch the TV too much. Mm -hmm. Well, I, I, I've got things that, that can't come into my mind. But if I'm concentrating on something else, then, then that keeps me from thinking about something that I, that, I can imagine that's going on someplace. So I'm, 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 I'm all right where I am. And then when you're out there dancing too. Yeah, when I'm yep. out there dancing. Sure that's something that that I'll always do. I've that's done nice. it all my life. I don't, I don't dance for the money, but it, it, it comes in. I mean, there, there's a reward there for it. And I appreciate it. If I don't, well, that's all right too. I mean, there's other dances for me to go to. And that's what I. What I, why I come to a power anyway. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm 76 years old, and I'm still out there with those, with all the people. With the young bucks. Yeah. <laughs> and I enjoy myself. I don't get tired. And I do afterwards. I know that I put myself under some sort of pressure, but but I'm all right. You know, I feel good. Yeah. 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 So there's a lot of things that. Our people know and have tried to relay this to other people, but other people think they know it all, especially, well, we're all like that. When we get to be 12 years, 13, 14, and that, those years there, we know it all. That's when we start talking back to our folks. Mm, that's exactly. when we think that we know everything that's going on, and we don't know nothing. About life. Yeah, only the Creator. Yeah, only the Creator knows everything. I was telling the, the story that I went through my initiation when I was 14 because I wasn't a, a, a child and I wasn't an adult. That's why they pick that year 14. Mm -hmm. We spent a year out in the wilderness. A year. Wow. From spring to spring. Wow. But we, you're prepared to do that ever since I was a child, ever mm -hmm. since I was a baby. They told me about what would take place in my life. So when it did come about, I was able to mm -hmm. adjust to it and do what I needed to do. I was taught how to take care of myself. I was taught about things that I had to do to get food to you. To survive. Mm -hmm. Wow, that's impressive. And when that time came for us to come back down, it was a, it was a 
great feeling of accomplishment because we had been there to do that. And it was all part of a ceremony. Oh yeah, yeah, that was our initiation. Everyone has some sort of initiation, like Sundance and mm -hmm. different things that you go through. It's not to mutilate ourselves or anything like that, it's to give us the knowledge that we don't have to have all the conveniences that, that are around us today, but we can survive and, and, and live a good life. There were times, I didn't even get lonesome. I knew that my folk, where my folks were, how they were getting along, but we couldn't communicate with no one else. Yeah. Just, just as, as it was, but we did, and, and everything worked out for us. So you had to endure the winter while you were out yeah. there as well. But we down there, I mean, in the in the village, they have kivas, mm -hmm. you know, where they have dance ceremonies and dancing down there. They said you can come in late at night and stay there mm -hmm. in the winter time when it really got cold when the snow was down. We could come in there, and they would leave food there for us to take back when we left the next morning. But we had to be out of there where no one could see us. But they knew we were, were there because that food would be gone. Mm -hmm. Wow. So that's how we survived. But we were there in the mountains a year, almost a year before we killed our first deer. We butchered it and then started making our own clothes. We only had boxes when we went up there mm -hmm. and a bridge cloth that was all and a, a flint knife. That was all that we had. And that's it? Yeah. Wow. So, so how we did started from scratch. Straight up. But well, we had hardcore. stuff that we had to bury. Mm -hmm. the tools that we made, things that we accumulated while we were there. If we all had to stay together, we was in different places different, I mean, where we could see each other, but we had our own place. Mm -hmm. And we accumulated a lot of stuff, we, the things that we made, the things that we, we, we had. We had to bury it and leave it there when we came back down. I hope it was still there. Uh, yeah, well, it could be. <laughs> so how did you prepare the hide then? Did you bring tin or how did you, what did no, you we, use we there? just uh, worked it. We had no brains. <laughs> 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 you have no brains, I love it. <laughs> but then we survived, and I, to this day, I, I don't I don't know how we did, but we, That's we, didn't, think, we didn't think about it. Mm -hmm. we there was no, nothing negative about anything we thought of. We knew that we had to do it, we knew that we, it was up to us. Right, and bigger animals are definitely better. Otherwise, you have, you know, little But like I said, that, that first deer that we killed, we didn't kill it outright. We had shot it with a couple of arrows, and then we had to chase it down because I mean, it yeah. had to bleed after it uh, got weak from, from running for a while. So it finally died. Mm -hmm. But we trailed it forward. Mm -hmm. But we had plenty of buried a lot of roots and, and things that we, we knew about how to survive. We, just, we weren't hungry. We didn't starve. Mm -hmm. Fish, could fish. We did a lot of things that when you really put in that kind of position, you could do. Mm -hmm. what, did you use any type of traps or anything? No, just uh, what we had for you. We had to use our hands. 